What if I told you that I discovered a galactic picture from the Hubble telescope of a black man that was so large that it covered galaxies, space, and time? Could this be an end time sign? Get your Bible and buckle up. We're going to take an honest look. In the lower right hand corner, a face. A face of a black man. And I say that because if you look at the picture, you can see that it has Negroid features to it. And it appears that he's peeking from behind a cloud. So when I went looking on the Hubble site for this picture, not knowing the name of it, where it came from, I found that they had thousands of pictures that Hubble had taken. <laughs> And I've looked at many pictures, more pictures than I can count of Hubble pictures until I found this picture. And when I researched the history of this picture, which we'll go over in a little bit, it kind of surprised me. Because uh, in researching this picture, Hubble just doesn't take the picture. It takes the picture in different formats, like infrared, a chroma key, and they want to see it in different formats. And I'm going to show you uh, the different formats that were taken of this picture. And so that you know that this is not just, for lack of better words, the, the, the correct lining of the stars. So this picture accidentally happened. You can see that this picture was staged, be it by accident that of some magnitude that we don't understand but this did not just happen it is not just a lining of the stars okay do me a favor pause this video on the picture I'm gonna make a frame and make it enlarge a frame for you pause it and look at the detail in this picture and for those of you oh man that's not real right it's not real okay <laughs> it's a it's a manifestation of, of something okay and whoever created it made it to look as real as possible and that's the point I'm trying to make is that the detail in this is astounding so um, it's it's not something that you know, I could come to any conclusion saying that it's an accident because it doesn't look like a cartoon. It, it has more resemblance to a photograph. But to better understand what you're looking at, um, let me explain to you that when I went on to Hubble's site and found this picture, they had a lot of information in regards to this picture and it's for us to understand the size of this picture uh, it's hard to even put it in words because what you're looking at is something that spans through time and space because when you're looking, when they take a picture of a galaxy, they're taking a picture of time and space because the f closest star to us is Alpha Centauri and it's light years away. So when you're looking at this, you're not only looking at the, the object, you're looking at time also because it would take you light years to get there this particular picture of this face when put on a scale which they kindly provided at uh, the nasa site with this with this picture next to it it spans space and time When you look at the statistics on it, it's just crazy. It's just mad crazy. We can't even fathom how this was even created. 
the the galaxy doesn't have a name from what I understand. It has a number which is NGC 602 uh, N90 and from the statistics it says that it is a hundred and ninety six light years away <laughs> okay it is a hundred and eighty light years wide and estimated to be a hundred and ninety uh, light years tall I mean we're talking time and space so you know, the, the something we just praise the most high that, that we're even able to witness this. So now that you, you've had an opportunity to look at this photograph of this just, um, just mind-boggling galaxy, I call it a multi-dimensional picture. And we have to ask ourselves, then, you know, what's 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 the big deal what's the point of of all this ken what are you trying to to tell us i'm showing you the biblical signs that are happening in our time our patriarchs would have given their life blood to be uh where we are right now positioned in time seeing the end time prophetic events happen before our very eyes. As you may well know, there are many verses in scripture that make reference to signs in heaven and, in, and on the earth. But there is one that I've run into, one particular verse that is found, it's a prophecy found in the book of Daniel. And it's Daniel 6, 27, and it reads, He delivereth and rescueth, and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. This verse explains that these signs in heaven are his sign that he is come. Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Um, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone because that's where I learned the truth from. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. All right. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. Now, I want to make this video longer, man, but, like, my eyes, like, really, like, bother me. So, you know, Lord willing, when I get up, you know, I'm, I'll do a longer video on the chariots. But basically, you know, it's nothing but Renaissance art, all right? When you're dealing with Christianity, you're accepting um, white supremacy, all right? You're, you're accepting, you know, um... That the Edomite, that an Edomite died on the cross for your sins as an Israelite, all right? The Israelites are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, all right? This is who Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who he died for, all right? He didn't die for everybody. He died for the Israelites, all right? Now, the, the so-called white man, all right, and the wicked of our people, they have Renaissance art in their house, all right? They have a white man on the cross, all right? They got a white man, you know, they have the angels depicted as so-called white men and women, all right? None of the angels are women. Let's, let's just cut that out, all right? None of, none of the damn angels are, are, are women, all right? It's, it's nothing but but um men, all right? Like, just 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 cut it out with that. Female angels. What? Are you kidding me, man? So that's. I'm just gonna get into the um description of the angels and the angels are so called black men. All right. In the intro of this video, I'm gonna prove to you that they're so called black men. I'm gonna actually show you an angel face. All right. Whether it be you know an angel, <clears throat> you know, Yahweh Shai, you know Yahweh, you know. I don't know, you be the judge. <clears throat> but in the photo, you know, in the video that I'm going to show before this, this video of me talking comes up, 
you're going to see the angel has full lips, all right? It looks like you're, it looks like you're a typical Negro, man. You just turn your head to the side and look just like you're a so-called Negro, man, all right? The nose, you know, the, the lips, all right? And you can see the beard on, on the angel, all right? It has a full, thick um, beard, all right? And it looks, it looks like, it looks kind of like an astral, like, projection of something, you know? I can't really make out what it is because I don't have the knowledge <clears throat> of that. But in the kingdom of heaven, I'll know. Because in the kingdom of heaven, we'll be able to space travel, all right? When it says, and um, um, I believe it's John the 14th chapter, I could be wrong. <clears throat> but basically, um, when it says... In my father's house, there's many mansions. Remember, the heavenly father, Yahweh, he lives out in the heavens, out of space. All right? So he said there's many mansions, meaning there's planets. All right? And Yahweh said say he's going to prepare a place for us. So we're going to um, space travel. All right? The, the elect of the nation of Israel, the Israelites, all right? Because we're going to be the, the gods of the earth. Everybody's going to live by the law, statutes, and commandments. You, you talk about you don't want to live by it, we're going to kill you if you don't do that. It tells you that in Isaiah the 60th chapter, the nation that uh, that desire not to serve thee is going to perish. In Psalms chapter 2, verse 8 through 9, we're going to rule with a rod of iron. So there's there's no reasoning with us in that day, all right? You talk back, we're going to we're going to slice your head off. We're going to slice it in pieces, all right? So um yeah, the 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 planets, the many mansions is the the planets and and what the so-called white man calls out of space, which is the heavens, all right? And that's where the heavenly father dwells at. That's where the angels dwell at, all right? On the moon, that's a base where the angels dwell at, all right? So, and another thing, the so-called UFOs, those are the chariots of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, the angels dwell in those things, all right? There's no green people, no green big-headed people. There's no such thing as alien grays or alien whites or none of that stupid shit Esau comes up with, all right? The so-called white race, whether you want to call them Illuminati, Zionist, redneck, European, Aryan race, all right? White, Caucasian, whatever. They're the biblical Edomites according to the Bible. They're the descendants of Esau and they're natural born liars, all right? Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked go astray as soon as they leave the womb. As soon as they leave the womb, they lie, man, all right? If you have a higher IQ, that means you're stupid, all right? Straight up, that just means you're stupid. That means you accept the philosophies of, of this society, all right, of white supremacy, all right, which is nothing but lies, rape, rob, and murder of other nations, mainly the Israelites, all right? Put in your face as the Messiah. It's nothing but renaissance art and, and lies, all right, now, let's get into the, um, the angels, all right, I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible, this is, um, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 4, <clears throat> it says, <clears throat> and I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, and a great cloud, so, the Bible refers to the so-called UFOs, the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all right, what people call the chariots of God, all right, as clouds. So when it says the Lord, he's coming back in the cloud, it's talking about UFO, all right? That's why you see movies like War of the Worlds and um, what's that shit called? Um, Independence Day, all right? Independence Day, part one and part two, all right? So it says, a great cloud and a fire enfolding itself and a brightness was about it. And out of the mist thereof, as the color of amber, out of the mist of the fire, verse 5, <clears throat> also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. All right? So out of the, the so-called UFO, which the so-called white man calls it uh, an ident unidentified flying object, but we know what it is. All right? So it's identifiable. Verse 5, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 5. Also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And 
and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. All right, so the angels are men. All right, angels are not women, man. You know they got female angels. You know it's it's just it's crazy, man. Female angels? Are you kidding me, man? There's no female angels, all right? Ver verse six, and everyone have four faces, and everyone have four wings, all right? So each of the angels, all right, because it was four of them, four men, all right. They had they had wings. All right, and they have faces. They had the likenesses of a man. Cause let's let's go all the way back. All right, let's go all the way back to, to Genesis. Genesis, right where it says um um Genesis one twenty six. All right, Genesis one twenty six, and cause really this word should be um Elohim, which means um plural. All right, or oh, powers. You know, certain words in the English, you know, is wrong. As I learned from the apostles of Great Millstone, Genesis one twenty six, and I'll just read it verbatim. It says, "And God said, Let us make man in our image." Which it was talking about the angels. That's what it said. Let us make man and make let us make man in our image, after our likeness. So when you read the angel, we read about the angels in Ezekiel the first chapter. All right, Ezekiel chapter one verse six. We made in the, the um we're made in the likeness in the image of the angels. All right? So the picture that you saw, all right, of the angel his head that the head was sideways, all right? It looks like a so-called negro. All right? You see the nose and and we're watered down, man. All right? Some some brothers is mixed in with heathens, all right? They're still Israelites, but they look like heathens. They mixed in with heathens, all right? A lot, even the dark-skinned brother, we're watered down, all right? We don't look like how we look in the ancient days, all right? We were bigger, we were stronger, we had better genes, you know, we were mightier, you know? So, we look at the angels, they, they had thick, big beards, all right? If you look closely at the photo, you can see the eyes, you see the, the nose, all right? You see the, the, the thick lips, all right, and you see the, the the big um bed going down, all right, and it looks like the astral projection of the picture of the angel's face sideways, all right. It kind of like you know was disappearing, but you can see the bed though. If you look closely, you can see the thick, big bed, and it looked like it just kept going down. So the angels have big beds, all right. They they're not bald faced. They're not heathens. <clears throat> Remember, it's in the law, statutes, and commandments. So. You don't think the angels are, they're perfect creatures, all right? They can't sin, all right? So the angels, we're, we're, the, the, we're made in the, the likeness of, of the angels, all right? Because it said, let us make, let me read it. Genesis 126, that word God, it should be Elohim, which means um powers, all right? Or the angels. So I'm just going to read it like how I'll read it. And and the angel said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So when you read Ezekiel 1 and 6, it tells you how the angels had the likeness of a man. All right. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creepeth upon earth. All right. And then let's go down. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground is different shades of brown. All right? Darker than what I am. All right? The, the, the more you dig into soil, the darker it is. All right? So we come in different shades of brown. So if we're made in the likeness of, of the angels, let's have some common sense. If we're made in the likeness of the angels, what does that mean? That means the angels is, is dark skin, all right? But it goes even deeper than that. So um, let me go back to um, Ezekiel. Because, you know, like when people read the scriptures, man, like they don't like they don't really have common sense. You know, they just read it and it's like, like little things they don't get. All right. So let me go back. All right, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 6, and everyone have four faces. So remember, I was telling you Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 5, 
that there was four men that stepped out of the great cloud. The great cloud is the chariots, all right? The so-called UFOs is known as clouds in the Bible, all right? The chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, all right? So it said, and everyone had four faces. Oh, let me let me go back to verse 5. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 5. So it says, their appearance, they had the likeness of a man. So I just went into that, how we made in, in their image, all right? We're, we're made in their image after their likeness, all right? So they look like so-called Negroes, and they're dark skin. All right, and it's going to go into the color. Um, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 7, their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. All right, so at the end of the video, I will um, show you what bur burnished brass look like. All right, and it's the same way Yahweh Shai. When you read the description of Yahweh Shai, the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ the Messiah. When you read, I believe it's um Revelation one and fifteen. All right, it tells you that his skin was um brass as as if it burned in the furnace. All right, same thing with the angels. They have burnished burnished brass, so they're extremely dark. That's why when you go to the NASA um, interview, it said that the angels were black. He didn't, he didn't say dark skin. He said it was black. It was literally black. You see what I'm saying? So the, an, the angels are perfection, man. And they have a glow to them. All right? They're mighty looking. All right? And they're going to kick Esau's ass. They can't wait. That's why when you see them in the sky, they're in bird formation. All right? Because they can't wait to get busy on, and, um, on Esau's um, military. All right, and the heathen, because all the heathen go try and fight against the Lord. You can read about that in Second um, Ezra, the um, thirteenth chapter. All right, so yeah, man, it's getting ready to be on soon. All right, so let me read some of this. All right, verse um, seven, and their feet were like straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. So they had straight, straight feet. All right, straight toes. And they, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Verse 8, they had hands of a man under their wings on their four sides. And they four had their faces and their wings. All right, so the angels look like so-called black men. All right, they're extremely dark. All right, they're dark, like they're black. All right, they have wings and they have a, a glow to them. All right. So, um, so, let me see what else do we got here. All right, verse nine. Their wings were joint one to another. They turned not when they went. They went everyone straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they had four. They they four had the face of a man. And what a man looks like, you know, a man is known for um, having a beard, right? And the face of a lion on the right side, and they had the face of an ox on the left side, and they four also had the face of an eagle. And, and verse 11, thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings... Of everyone were joint one to another, they too covered their bodies. All right, so when you read Ezekiel, the, the first chapter, all right, it goes into the description of the angels, the color, what they look like, the, the chariots, all right, talks about the speed, all that, all right. So, you know, Lord one, I'll make another video on this, but I really just want to make this up quick because, you know, I want to show. The, you know, the um, the picture of um, NASA, all right? So, this is what Esau is going to have to fight. So, all this all this um, white supremacy shit that, you know, the so-called white man got going on, that's getting ready to be destroyed some, man, all right? This, this shit about um, Edomite angels and woman angels and, um, you know, the Lord looking like a, a so-called white man, all right? That's not, that's not going to, look, it's not, it's not in the Bible. That can't be proven. All right. So.
hopefully you enjoy that um hopefully you enjoy that video all right of um you know the the photo of the angel's face from the side and you know hopefully this was um edified all right so shalom and basically just to summarize you know what i was saying so i was you know ezekiel chapter 1 verses uh, 4 to 11 it gives you the description of the angels you know they have wings the so-called um black men all right and they said it had the likeness of a man now when you go to genesis 126 it tells you how we were created in their image all right so we're going to look like them so you see an angel looking like a so-called negro well guess what all right so i mean you can just put two and two together all right so they they look like us they're tall and they can shape shift and they have spiritual power. So if they have spiritual power, they can do anything. All right? Under the command of Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, they can do anything. They can shape shift. All right? Some of us entertain angels. You know, like how the scriptures say. We, we, um, some of us entertain angels underwear. All right? Some, a lot of angels, they shape shift themselves, you know, to test you out. You know? They pretend to be homeless. They might ask you for money. I mean, you got some jakes, they leg legitimately are homeless and are drug dealers, all right? But certain people, you just give it to them through the spirit, you know? Because, you know, you're being tested, man. Angels is watching, you know? They they can't wait to converse with us in the um, kingdom, all right? We're going to be able to com command them, you know? But, um... Yeah, man, so that's basically it. The angels are so-called black men. They're real dark. And I'm going to show you, um, you know, another video of this Edomite that said that the angels is, is um black. Now, you could search this up yourself, you know, so-called black extraterrestrials, you know? You know how Esau is, man. All right, so hopefully this was um edifying. Charlotte Warm, enjoy the video. Okay, but there are, if there are craft, there are beings. Um, okay, people have asked me uh, about, I call them vehicles, okay? Right. Now, I did not call them objects. That was too neuter for me. Okay. Um, I had a Stanford professor say, you ought to call them objects, no, I'm going to know. They have all of the qualities of a vehicle. They can move, you know, they're just like a missile or anything like that. So that much we can say about them, for sure. Okay. So I'm calling them in. Okay. Okay, somebody comes along and says, well now where would you manufacture one that's two and a half earth lengths long? And, um, that's a hard question to answer. So are you not positing the idea that they, those vehicles contain, you know, beings who are, you know, maybe like us? Yeah, I only go along with Garmin images. And if you want to know about people kind of thing. Um, there is the ship that picked up the Voyager uh, capsule um, at the uh, Alameda uh, Naval Shipyard and they they have a picture there of um, I think I think it's uh, the Apollo flight that the uh, Buzz and uh, and Neil were on. Uh, but anyway, there is one image there that shows black people getting off. So people with dark skin getting off. Not dark, black. Black skin. Really black. Yeah. Were they tall? Yes. Very tall. Yeah. How tall? Do you know? Well, they got out the uh, 
the doorway. I don't know how high that is, but well, what, it's safe, I, safe. Seven, seven feet would be probably a conservative estimate. Um, have you heard about Clark McClellan's uh, statement about that? No. Oh, you haven't? No. Have you ever been in touch with him? No. No? Uh, there is one image there that shows black people getting off. So people with dark skin getting off? Not dark, black. Black skin? Really black, yeah. Were they tall? Yes. Very tall? Yeah. How tall? Do you know? Well, they got out the uh, the doorway. I don't know how high that is, but yeah. well, what? It's safe, safe. Seven seven feet would be probably a conservative estimate. 